Homeless homebrew. Here I am. Kind of in the backyard. The camera's in the house. Look, it's finally raining in the Northwest. <laughs> we need a galactic event. I mean, not just a world event, a galactic event. And that's what we're going to do today. Here we go. <laughs> it's Galactica Double IPA from Clown Shoes Beer. That's right, Clown Shoes Beer out of Ipswich, Massachusetts. You know, I know that uh, I'd seen this, heard about this before. I've never gotten to try it. It finally made it to Oregon. Uh, I think they've done a little bit different labeling with a can, but I believe it's the same beer. Basically, it's, uh, it's a big old 8% uh, double IPA, Imperial IPA, if you will. And it's, uh, it's dry hopped with Galaxy. That's why you get the Galactica name. So that should be fun. We're going to go ahead and get it cracked open. Oh, I can already smell it. And look how dark that is. You've got some light coming from the inside of the house out so you can see these lighter hues. But actually from my side, it's all dark like up here. Um, very interesting. So I gotta assume there's like some caramel or Munich, some other type of darker malts on that. It's got a nice full finger head on there. Let's get the nose. Okay, wow, I'm gonna have to analyze this a bit, but I got quite a few things out there. I did get some caramel on the nose that was really nice. Uh, and I also got quite a few characteristics coming from it in terms of fruit character, which is fun. I'll have to check the date here in a little bit. Um, but I definitely got some citrus character and I got some tropical characters going on. Uh, I felt like I got a little bit of a pineapple and some passion fruit, which by the way is pretty characteristic of uh, galaxy hops. Uh, but I, they're also known for citrus, and I think I got a few citrus characters on here. I got a hint of some orange and kind of a, a light lemon, kind of. Uh, I would I think lime. I think like a lemon, but almost tending a little bit towards lime and just a little bit of like some grapefruit rind on it. Maybe just a hint of some pine, but that's what I'm getting on the nose. But boy, I mean, it's got quite a... a, a malt base kind of scent. I'm really getting like a few characteristics more than just uh, uh, caramel malts on there. So that's kind of interesting. We're going to go ahead and jump on in. Cheers. Wow, okay. A lot of things just hit me. This is fun. But the first place I'm going to go is back to this malt base because this is not your typical IPA. This takes me back to some of the earlier IPAs. Like these are, this has like some 90s IPA characteristics going on here, which is kind of fun. Now it's not as funny as he thought, but I'm just telling you, it is pretty fun to go back in time. Um, the caramel malt is there, but I know there's some other stuff going on in terms of that malt base. It's a kind of a medium body. It's kind of fun. It reminds me of uh, to a degree of some things like your 90 minute IPA type characteristic where you get those caramel characteristics and I dig on that you just don't get a lot of that these days actually one of the local breweries here uh, does actually do a lot of beers like that still which is kind of fun but uh, let's go ahead and get another taste well I'm gonna tell you that that malt is front and center uh, I, I'm wondering if this is not super fresh. I get some herbal characters definitely going on. I get a little bit of some tropical character going on with this. Uh, not super distinct. I would say that just like in the nose, I get a little bit of like a passion fruit type character in it. I feel like I get a little bit of like some, almost like I want to say berry characters some herbal characters going on. It's got some earthy fall type character, which is kind of interesting, which again makes me wonder about age on it. I'm getting some of the citrus characters, but it's not like a bright citrus. It's not like I'm getting like a full on orange or orange juice. It's not like I'm getting like a full on grapefruit. Although I do feel like I'm getting some grapefruit rind going on, but probably leaning a little bit more towards that pink grapefruit, which is always pleasant. But I'm really getting this like potpourri characteristic or like I'm getting some hibiscus something like that on it. It's a very interesting herbal character. So I'm going to check the date on the can. Now this only came into our store maybe a month ago and I finally picked one up, but it's kind of like what I thought. It's not all that fresh. Uh, this is now we're in September, the middle of September, 
and uh, this is dated July 26th. So we've got eh, almost two months, so it's not super old, but to me it still feels like it's not carried through as fresh as it, as it might at that time frame. Mm. I do get now a little bit more of that orange character. Um, it's And it's kind of a, a marmalade type of a character, and I think that has a lot to do with the malt base that's in this, with the, the caramel type flavors, the sweetness that's in it. It comes off a little bit like a marmalade. This is a fun one for sure. I'm going to take a little time with this, and I'll be back. Well, for me, this isn't a hep hype new kind of beer. <laughs> But then I'm not really kind of a hep hype new kind of guy. You know, I'm kind of, <laughs> I got a few years on me. And this beer feels like it has a few years on it. There's a little bit of age on it. There's a lingering bitterness. There's some herbal characters. There's the floral characters. Kind of this potpourri-esque type quality. And yet, in some ways, that's kind of fun. Uh, this is a kind of beer that I could snuggle up back in the house by a fire on a cold day. And we are definitely moving in that direction. <laughs> In terms of Imperial IPAs, you know, I mean, I can't, I can't rank it super high. I mean, I know we've gone to this New England IPA craze and everything else, but, but this is a yesteryear beer for me, as I said, and uh, there's some reminiscence there. It's a fun beer. I'm going to give it a 91 in terms of Imperial IPAs. I'm digging on it. Now, some people aren't going to dig on this as much as I am because there's some lingering bitterness. You got that whole potpourri type thing and, and going on. It's, it's a little different. And with this big caramel, it's really a bygone era. I mean, that's really what this flavor is to me, but I'm, I'm loving it. And it may have tasted different fresh. Uh, let me know if you've had it fresh more recently, I would say, like in the can. Um, but overall, uh, it's, it's a very good beer is what I'm going to say. And I'm going to put it in the 88 category. It's kind of fun. It's different. And I'm going to enjoy this inside the house, uh, snuggled up warm on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is again. It is the Galactica Double IPA from Clown Shoes Beer out of Ipswich, Massachusetts. It's a different beer. It's kind of a fun beer. It'll get you through the fall. Yeah, that's right. If it's still on the shelf, buy one. It's a fall beer now. This is Kevin Clemens Homebrew saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you on the next beer review.